Hi everybody, today I'm going to be sharing with you a workout that you can do for your glutes. I'm going to do the whole thing on one side and then you can obviously do it on the other side as well. Um, so it'll be about 10 or so minutes and you can do it and feel some good burn your butt. So start on to uh, bring yourself into four point kneeling. I'm going to come down to my forearms. This is a convenient position to help you, um, especially if you have any wrist issues. Turn your core on underneath, extend your right leg out, lifting up and up. So stabilizing from your abdominals underneath, feeling the length of your leg and really intending uh, to lift and lower, not just kick up and down. Find that work right from your center, stabilizing through your shoulders. Continue pressing out long as you lift. Three more here. And then starting from parallel to the floor, lift it up, crossing over, lift it back to the side. So it's like you're drawing a really big arch or half circle with your toe. Again, feeling the work uh, from your core, feeling the release through your hip flexors across the front and the work happening in your glute above. Stay strong from your center and connect with your breath. Intentional with your movement, going long and returning. Three more. Last one. Now bring it back to the center and you're just going to bend and extend. Pressing out straight folding back in. Again, checking for that stability from your center, finding your core working. You'll feel this probably activating now as well through your kneeling leg glute. This is good. Getting both butt cheeks burning. Press your leg long, draw your belly in underneath, send the crown of your head away from you. And continue staying strong with your breath. That's three, two, and last one. Good, bring yourself down. Now you're going to take, take your same right leg, staying all on the same side, extend it out. Come onto your left forearm, right palm is on the floor. Lift your leg up, lower it down. Bringing your inner thigh parallel to the floor, Trying to get that full lift. Now this can be modified. You can bring it back behind you and come up to your palms and continue doing the same movement. So this is really good inner thigh work. From there, hold it up, bend and extend. Really thinking about working from your center, draw your belly in. This will be stronger than the last one on your um, kneeling leg glute. Thinking about staying strong in the work, remembering to connect to your breath. Give yourself the positive feedback. You're really strong. You're doing awesome. Last three. Two. Last one. Now hold it out, point, and flex your foot. So your leg stays straight, inner thigh parallel to the floor, and it's like you're trying to drive your toes towards you and then away from you, and likewise your heel as far away from you as you can. Last three, two, last one. Yes, very good. Okay, come on down. Switch now to your um, left side. We're going to start from uh, up on your elbow, bottom leg bends, <clears throat> take your top arm, take it behind your head, draw your belly in, folding up, pressing long. Now this allows you to work your glute on that top side, as well as through your obliques. So feel the folding right here in your waist, like you're trying to fold yourself in half. Core engages, narrowing at your waist. Press your leg long. 
that's five, four, three, two, last one. Now bring your hand down for your balance, toes touch, and then leg extends. Touch your toes, extend. Really feel the work now as you press yourself all the way out. You have the option at any time to come down to your head on your hand. And we're gonna do that in a second anyway, so I'll show you that when we get there. For now, stay really strong. Try to find this on the outside of your glute. Core is engaged, pelvis is neutral. Keep drawing your belly in, that's three. Two, last one. Okay, now bring yourself down, head into your hand. Bottom leg stays bent up, top hand for balance. Extend your top leg out straight, sweep it forward, press it back long. Now try to keep everything else exactly the same. So draw your belly in, feel your core work to stabilize you. Have that little space underneath, narrowing at your waist. Leg stays extended straight. And remember, it doesn't matter if you can bring your leg all the way forward. You can just have a smaller movement coming to here and pressing back. Just finding whatever works in your body and staying strong and pushing through. Connect with your breath. Inhale to press, exhale as you draw your leg in. Last three. Two. Last one. Now hold it, extend, external rotation, externally rotate, back to parallel. So I'm rotating right here where my femur hip inserts into my hip, rotating it open, Still staying parallel at my hip. This is really good for your hip mobility. And feel it squeeze right in that spot where your glute and hamstring meet. Last three. Two. Last one. Now hold it externally, rotate it. Lift and lower. It's like you're drawing it up at an angle. Really feel that strong external rotation work. Checking in with your core again. Connect your breath. Find that spot right in your gluteal fold, butt cheek to hamstring. Last three. Two. Last one. Very good, okay, we're gonna come back up now to four point kneeling. So knees underneath your hips, palms underneath your shoulders. You have the option to do this one again from your forearms as we did for the last one if you wish. Take your right leg, lifting it up, draw your belly in underneath, knee pulls through and press. Pull and press. Find and maintain the length in your spine, stability in your shoulders and feel on the movement that you are using your glute and your hamstring as you press up and feel your core engage as you pull down. Last three, two, last one, now hold it up, drawing semicircles with your knee to the side, other side, lift, to the side, other side. Just a small movement. Again, core stability from your center. Feel like there's a suction cuff on the inside of your belly button that is being pulled up from the ceiling. Connect with your breath. Last three. Two. Last one. Now bring your knee down so they're parallel, open to the side, and close. Trying to keep your uh, foot and knee in a line, so not allowing one to pop out more than the other. And continuing with your breath. 
Always coming back to your breath. Crown of your head sends, go, is going away. Lengthen through your spine. Last three. Two. And last one. Very good. Bring your knee down. Press back into your child's pose, opening up, allowing that glute to have a nice little stretch. And then coming up, start the video again and do it on the other side. Thanks so much, guys. See you later.